and that toxoplasma apparently was running rampant through France. Really? R- yeah, yeah. What yeah. is it? Toxoplasma is that like thing that you get from um, cats get it, and they get it from rats. And oh. it, it's a it's a parasite that gets into human brains, and it affects humans, and it makes people a little bit more reckless. Oh, like rabies, kind of, but light. No, not rabies. More like uh, like slightly drunk all the time. Mm-mm. Yeah. And uh, this toxoplasma, uh, apparently, there was at one point in time, forty percent of the of, French of, of France was infected wow. with toxoplasma. Yeah, see if you find that that's true. Must have been a fuck fest, I bet. Fuck fest, wild and loose. Yeah, you got yeah. TP. So well, they, they think that there, there's a direct correlation between the high levels of infestation and the behavioral changes of the population. Infestation the of what, rats and stuff? No, of this toxoplasma. Oh, toxoplasma. Huh. Apparently 50 million people in this country have it. You get it from cat shit. Or from if you live on a farm, like you step on a field and mm-hmm. it gets in your skin. Like maybe cats have been shitting all over the place, yeah. or a dog will eat something that you know some cat shit. And when you get shit in your feet, you be around the dog. 2012 analysis from France, where an estimated 43 percent of the people carrying Toxoplasmosis gondii concluded that men with a Latent infection tend to be more dogmatic, less confident, more jealous, less impulsive. And more orderly than wow. uninfected men. Infected women seem warmer, more conscientious, more persistent, more insecure, and more sanctimonious. Whoa. Dude, I'll get a six pack for the ladies then, huh? That sounds How crazy is that? that Forty three percent of people carry it. Jesus Christ. That's a large number of human beings infected by something that changes behavior or at least leads to trends that are different. Hmm. And and noticeable, more dogmatic, less confident. Less confident is interesting. That gondi. Yeah, toxoplasmosis. Mm. Gondi. Associations of having antibodies to the parasite with bipolar disease, suicidal behavior, even optimistic disposition, possibly related to the parasite's effect on dopamine. (gasps) So it gets in your body, and then you just have it for life. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is it sexually transmitted? It must be then, huh? That's a good question. That's a very good question. I don't know. If 43% of people have it, I can't imagine that half of the population has stepped on a, you know, a fucking... Well, I think they, that's yeah, a good question, dude. That's a good question. But I think there's a lot of feral cats around. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I think when there's places like El Gato, yeah. you got a lot of feral cats running around. Ratatouille, they have that whole movie about that animal that was a chef. Yep. yep. And what it does to the rats is it makes them get hard-ons when they smell cat piss. Is that really? Yep. It rewires their sexual reward system. So, uh, wait, wait. Their well, testes enlarge when they smell cat piss. No They get way. hard. They get hard, son. It gets I had a fucking pregnancy. neighbor like that, dude. What, this guy it gets always passed pregnancy. Say that again? It, it gets through passed pregnancy. through pregnancy to the child? Yeah. Oof. Uh, Oof, there you go. Uh, it's I rough. Yes, 43% is a high number, man. That's, a, that's like, it's a lot of people. It's 43 <laughs> out of 100 people. It's dude. Two billion people on the planet. Two billion people have it? Yes, 43% of those tested in that study. And that's all the people that get tested. Who the fuck? I've never been tested. You've been tested? No. How many people have been tested? Uh-uh. I, that, that's a rough estimate, man. They don't fucking know. I bet it's a lot higher. I bet it's a lot of people that have it. Yeah, shit in the blood, dude. I probably got it. We had uh, Dr. Robert Sapolsky in the podcast. We did one with him. He's an expert in it, and he's, mm-hmm. he's got a bunch of uh, lectures and speeches on it. And he said that when he was a resident... That he had heard about uh, a guy who found out that a disproportionate number of motorcycle accidents were attributed to people that were on this toxoplasma. Really? Yeah, that they that they they got this infection and it was causing them to do stupid shit on motorcycles and crash. I would hate that, man. It's but, hard uh, enough to ride a motorcycle and then to have like, yeah. you know, just to be being led astray by a rare disease in your brain. I wonder, and I wonder if it varies, right? I wonder if the toxoplasma that they get in Paris has the same exact response as the one that these they get in these South are the America. Variations. No, these are just America. The oh, there's the a fr- bunch of variations. Yeah. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. There's different ones. Oh, Long Jeez. Island has a lot of it. Jesus it says. Christ, there's different ones. Fuck. See, I bet the. What is this though? This seemed mm. like what is it? What Tox. Is it? It, well, it's parasites. Okay, the so we have about parasites. parasites Parasites exist in so many animals. They hitch rides, and then mm-hmm. they that's their ecosystem. Our ecosystem is to be on planet Earth. Their ecosystem is to be in planet Theo Vaughn, and they just get inside of you. Have parasites ever changed, like, the kind of the course of history? Is that what happened with the plague, or is that a different thing? 
No, the plague's a different thing, but they probably could change the course of history if they really changed that many people's behavior. If you think about Paris uh, or France, they're talking about 43% of the people have this infection. And the and irony of parasites, how crazy is that? That's crazy, bro. It's a parasite. What if they Ew. have, could you imagine little French fucking... Mm, little berets. Wee yeah. wee, <laughs> oui, oui, I'm going to change your behavior. <laughs> oh, you're going to... Uh... Stupid American. <laughs> yeah. The craziest one, man, is this aquatic worm. It climbs inside a grasshopper's body. It uh -huh. grows in the grasshopper's body. And then it tells the grasshopper to commit suicide. Oh, my God. So it gets the grasshopper to jump into the water. And then once the grasshopper gets in the water, then it bursts out of its body. Oh, it's like Pinocchio meets um, Alien. Have you seen the movie Alien with Sigourney <laughs> Weaver? Yes. 